What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Poppy Blaster, aka PB Fitness, coming at y'all with another fitness video, man. In today's video, we're going to do abs in the gym, man. So, how to get a six pack fast at the gym. So, first off, we're going to hit this machine right here. It's called the Abnormal Crunch Machine. So, with my crunches, I like to go with like a light weight. So, 40, 40 pounds is cool, you know. You don't want to go too heavy because too much pressure, too heavy will have a lot of pressure on your back. So we don't want to go heavy when we're doing crunches. Also, when, we, when we're doing crunches, we don't want to go all the way back. We want to just kind of, you know, go in the crunch position. But when you're when you're going back to release, don't go all the way back because that'll mess up your back too. And also, you will feel more of contraction in your abs. Keep your, your, your core real tight. Keep it as tight as you can. Every time you're doing abs, keep your, tight, your core real tight to get the, the most benefit out of the, out of the workout, you know, so you can get your six pack and everything ripped. Keep it tight. Breathe in, and, um, inhale, exhale. Okay, y'all, the next workout is the ab crunch using bench. We're using the bench this time. Um, yeah, this workout, man, it, you're gonna really feel it when you when you start it. I say you get about uh, 20 reps in. As soon as you hit that 20 rep, when you go past that, you're gonna start to really feel it in your abs. And uh, like I said, always keep your abs tight or whatever so you can get. That way you can get a good pump in your abs. With this workout, we're also targeting our upper abdominal area, okay? This one and with the other one, because I didn't mention on the other one, sorry, my bad. But we're targeting our obliques too as well. Our obliques are the side, kind of like the side, um, the packs on the side kind of look like ribs, but it's not ribs, they're muscles. They're little baby muscles on the side. And that kind of uh, defines the rest of your six pack. It completes it. So you have a six pack, or if you have eight pack on the sides, when you have them little um, muscles, kind of look like it, kind of look like ribs, but it's not. You complete it once you get those. So that's what that that's what that is. That's pretty much targeting your oblique areas too. Okay, the next workout, abdominal crunch, the crunch. This right here may look like an old man workout for the abs, <laughs> but trust me, you will see a lot of old people on this too when you go to the gym, but I still do it because I still get a good pump, good burn, and my abs is really good, you know? So you wanna go kinda like a little heavier on this though. I think I had it like on 120, I think, I believe, or 110. It's cool, cool weight, good enough, you know, so you can get a good pump and fill it contract in that area that abdominal area also we are super setting it with um on the side so we could hit the obliques as well i always super set with obliques i just like to hit my obliques too that way you could 
really get a you know a full contraction on your obliques and your six pack and just fill everything and fill it out workout is the torso rotation this one right here man you're going to fill it on your obliques this right here is a full oblique workout you know that's where i target at i like this workout man it's it look kind of funny but just trust me you you put it on like you put enough weight on there man you're gonna really feel it so also you do enough reps you're gonna feel it as you see as you can see i superset everything and i, I honestly do like uh um, a lot of sets too you know five four five or four sets each workout and that way you can get a good sweat and you can just burn off all that body fat depending on what you're trying to work on man so standing ab crunches ooh, ooh. one of my favorites man one of my favorites i do a lot of reps on this though man um 30 what i do 30 reps 30 reps also 30 rep 15 on each side on uh when i go to the sides i do 15 well i do 30 straight but it, that equals the 15 on your left and 15 on your right hitting your obliques again once again this you're targeting your, your your lower though so now we're working on lower your lower abs so that v cut right there this is just good for that you want to bring that in do this workout right here
Now the standing leg raises is definitely <laughs> you got you gotta have uh, you gotta be kind of strong to do this, man, because you're just using your all legs and kind of using your arms too as well to hold you up. So this one right here, as you can see, I just did two or three sets and uh, just do 20, 20, stop, get a little break, 20 more. Next workout, V-cut leg crunches. Whoo! This one right here, after all them, <laughs> after all them workouts already, man, you're gonna feel this one, man. And this one right here is working your legs, your V-cut, and your lower abdominal area. Okay? That's, it's, it's, it's gonna really, you're gonna really feel it, man. I do uh, 25 sets, to me, 25 reps. 25 reps equals one set, and uh, we do it four times, so. Once you do 25, stop, get a little break. Not too long of a break though. Just a slight break and go right back into it. I say rest for about 30 to 30 to 45 seconds and then go back to doing it again. Okay, so this is the last workout. We worked on our upper abs, we worked on our lower abs, we worked on our V cuts, we worked on our left side, right side, obliques, everything, man. That's what it is, man. We going harder, we going home. But anyways, this right here is the bench leg raises, okay? This right here, you're gonna feel as well, man. Especially after doing all that stuff already, you're really gonna feel this one. That's why I didn't really do too many sets of it. I just did uh, three sets, 10, reps so you do 10 reps straight up and then you go straight into, into doing going to the side so so each side each side side working your obliques as well like you said like i said all my workouts supersets with the oblique workouts too that way we can fill it all in all right youtube so that was my ab routine workout at the gym Hope you guys enjoyed that man as you can see i go hard man on my abs like i'm trying to really get define my abs you should go hard on your abs too you know i explained each workout briefly and what and what it works on the targeted areas as, as far as your abdominal area your ab area you know what i'm saying your beat cuts and all that so do it more sets more reps uh a couple sets and uh yeah man a lot of different workouts so yeah make sure y'all go hard man at the gym man make sure you know when you're going you're not just going just to you know you, it's gonna hurt man you know what i'm saying make sure you're going and you're getting a good workout in and you're not going just for the for the fun of it you know what i'm saying you're going to progress that's what we want we want to progress we want to grow you already know man but with that said man probably blasted pb fit i'm signing out make sure you guys like comment subscribe y'all can follow me also on instagram at poppy underscore blasted that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed, man. Any questions, leave comments below. I know I got y'all. Yeah.